Hello all, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, what we'll do, we'll continue where we had left. So in the last video, uh, we dealt with frequency modulation. That was, uh, we learnt what is frequency modulation and how, roughly how the waveform looks like. And then we ended up lastly with the equation of FM signal. So it looked like this. This is the final FM wave. S of t is AC cos and then 2 pi FCT plus 2 pi KF 2 pi into KF 0 to P M of T TT. This is the FM signal. So as promised what we will do in this video we will generate the this signal. We will simulate it. Okay, through the help of MATLAB. So, what to do? Uh, to do that, what I'll do first, we will generate a frequency modulated wave when the message signal is of single tone. That is, our criteria is to generate this FM wave when M of T is of single tone. That is, AM cos 2 pi fmt so this is uh, only because it, our calculations will be simpler and uh, the code will be simpler for me and and also we'll end up with a very nice elegant frequency modulated wave we will get a good idea as how the fm wave looks and how the information is being transmitted and how different it is from amplitude modulated wave so that all we can get with the help of this equation that is s of t is ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi into kf integral of m of t over 0 to t dt so let's put m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fmt in this equation because we are doing the single tone frequency modulation now ok so for single tone modulation m of t is of single frequency that is am cos 2 pi fmt so let's put it here our equation looks like s of t v ac and we are not disturbing this part so it will be 2 pi fct and then 2 pi k of since uh, amplitude will be constant, we will take this AM outside into AM 0 to T cos 2 pi FMT into DT. So this will be AC, we are not disturbing again uh, this part 2 pi FCT plus 2 pi into KF into AM. So integral of cos is sine that will become sine 2 pi fm t since we are differentiating with t we need to divide this 2 pi fm here 2 pi fm and then limits are 0 to t so our final equation will become this 2 pi will get cancelled with this so and then uh, the sine 2 pi fmt over 0 to p is will get sine 2 pi fmt minus sine of 0 is 0. So, for single tone modulation, the frequency modulated wave S of t will look like this AC cos 2 pi fct plus kf into am upon fm sine 2 pi fm into t so this is our equation final equation for single tone modulation single tone frequency modulation our s of t that is frequency modulated wave will be ac cos 2 pi fct plus kf am into am upon fm sine 2 pi fm into t so this kf into am upon fm 
is called as modulation index modulation index so i'll be generating now a frequency modulated wave for single tone okay so let's go to the matlab core i will give you a brief idea just note down this equation because we are just performing that equation and instead of uh, this kf am upon fm we'll be using one common value called as variable called as beta that is called as modulation index this is nothing but modulation index so this is one value i will write here this is beta okay so let's go to the matlab code and then we will generate a fm wave so as you can see this is our matlab code i am defining the frequency of the message signal as 25 hertz and the frequency of the carrier is 400 hertz and this b is equal to 10 is nothing but kf into am upon fm it is modulation index of frequency modulated wave and this uh, this is nothing but time period i am defining from 0 to 0 0.5 seconds in the steps of 0 0.001 seconds and since we are dealing with uh, single tone modulation single tone frequency modulation the message signal m is cos 2 pi fm into p so these are just a basic MATLAB functions subplot and plot and uh, this is x label I have la labeled it as time you can label it anything which you want and then y label is amplitude and this is our message signal because we are plotting m equal to cos to pi fm into p in the same way we are defining our carrier so carrier wave c is equal to cos 2 pi fc into t where fc is 400 hertz and again we are plotting the carrier wave so x label y label and then there is a as you can see this is a carrier signal and what you are seeing in the uh, line number 21 is our frequency modulated wave the equation which we derived for frequency single tone modulation just few minutes back so that I have written here that's it however what I have did uh, I have chosen amplitude of carrier and amplitude of message signal as equal both are equal that is 1 AC is equal to 1 and AM is equal to 1 1 volts okay so here AC is missing so this is nothing but cos 2 pi FCT plus this beta is nothing but kf into am upon fm okay so that into sine 2 pi fm into t because for single tone modulation we have derived this equation so let's copy this and let's plot it in matlab i don't have matlab so i am using this uh, free software called as gnu octave online there I'll be plotting the FM signal. So let's plot this uh, three signals. That is, first is message signal, then we'll plot carrier signal, and then there is a FM signal. Y equal to cos 2 pi FCT plus beta into sine 2 pi FM into T. The so sine 2 pi FM into T is a message signal. So it is of 25 hertz, and carrier is of 400 hertz so the frequency of the fm signal will vary okay there is a instantaneous frequency which we had discussed in the previous video will apply here that is fi of t is equal to fc plus blah blah stuff that is pf into am and all so we will plot it in the gy uh, gnu octave online so it takes some time to process all this there will be repetitions so let's give it some time for that
so here is a final plot this is a message signal it is of 25 hertz so and then this is a carrier signal it is of 400 400 hertz so by the definition of frequency modulation what we are doing we are changing the frequency of the carrier and then the second plot in accordance with the message signal so and the result is the third waveform as you can see here the frequency of this FM wave I mean this carrier is uh, varied with the message signal the output is you can see here so if you want to analyze as you can see for positive part of the message signal we can see there is a higher frequency and for negative part of message signal the frequency is little bit higher than the one used prior to that so let me try expanding this plot window okay so then you can download this image download a plot as image or you can I can think we can share it also let me download so you can use it for assignments and all, st all that stuff okay you can uh, try changing the frequency which I had used uh, for uh, better results you can uh, change the frequency and then you can change the modulation index so there are two types of FM wave actually one is wideband FM and one is narrowband FM for narrowband FM the beta modulation index which I have used in this uh, MATLAB code as B will be less than 1 if it is much less than 1 it is a narrowband wave okay so now it is very clear this is 400 I am not sure what is the frequency but you can see the frequency is changing in the FM wave that's where our information lies so this message signal since we cannot transmit it over large distances we can use this modulation technique it is much immune to noise compared to amplitude modulation so that's how the quality when it is immune to noise so the quality will be higher than the amplitude modulated wave so thanks for watching guys please subscribe to our signal Synthesis channel and for any doubts please use the comment section and, uh, I have pasted the code in the description section which you can use and try it in this octave online.net so that's all for this week's uh, video we will come up with the new videos next week thank you